and this is gonna sound extremely smart, but I've done some market research. I have done some market research on what you make the best diamonds of on the Hermitcraft server. And the answer? Redstone bits. Redstone bits is something that always seem to be consistently selling and something that people always seem to need. Now, for those of you who watched last season of Hermitcraft, you will probably remember Cherry Computers, Scar, Good Times with Scars, Magical Wizard Redstone Shop of Doom. And that shop basically made Scar into the richest hermit throughout the entire season. I can't, I can't actually say that I know that he was the richest, but rumors has it that he was definitely the richest. My goodness, there has been... <laughs> There has been development in the mayor run for mayor campaign. Oh my goodness, Scar has got Scar's got an absolute absolute rock star. <laughs> absolute rock star of a of a cat poster. I love this. Anyway, as I was saying, speaking about Scar, he was the richest hermit on the Hermitcraft server last season. And the reason he was that was because of Cherry Computers. He made so many diamonds, and I know this because I definitely spent quite a bit of them. He made so many diamonds on his redstone shops. Oh, and look at this. The Guardian shop has been moved, just like we discussed with Impulse last, last episode. So that means I now have a lot of real estate. A lot of real estate to use to make my own fortune out of redstone. Now, before you say anything in the comments, I know there is already there is already a redstone shop on the server, and my goodness, does this look cool. Look at the detail put into this. Oh, please don't kill me. <laughs> yeah, this is this is absolutely great. There is already a redstone shop on the server, but usually the demands are so eight. You get one diamond for eight comparators in this shop? Oh my goodness, this is expensive. As I was gonna say, usually the demand for redstone is so high that we could very well compete with this. And and I think I think both shops would end up being sold out eventually. I wonder what these observers are for, by the way. They, they just sit there and click. So the plan for today's episode is to utilize our investment. I want to add on to my slime shop another section and i'm not entirely sure where or how i'm gonna do this yet but i kind of envision in my head that i can add on to this structure and make a similar structure selling selling redstone bits now before we get started with that though i want to get a little bit caught up with what's going on in the mayor campaign and in the shopping district because I haven't been on the server for the past four days and that may not sound a lot but that is that is quite a long time <laughs> quite a long time for me to not be on the Hermitcraft server the reason I haven't is because my studio as I've said is being constructed and it's in the final parts but that has meant that the current place that I've, I've been sitting in has been used as a storage room for boxes and that sort of stuff so I haven't had any space to, to sit down and actually play Minecraft and record videos. So I do apologize for the gap in videos, but the good news is, is that as of recording, I am starting to move my stuff into my new studio, which is very, very exciting. This thing also, by the way, this thing is new. I'm a giant, a giant sword. What is this thing? It just says opening soon and there's nothing in these chests. This, this is looking pretty cool. I wonder if this, sponsored by the False America, Oh, there is sponsorship opportunities. I didn't think about that. Anyway, as I was saying, the good news is, is that I am very, very close of moving into my new studio. And I am mega excited about it. I will be posting some pictures of it on Twitter. And I'm going to try in my next video to also see if I can include some of those pictures in the actual video for those of you who are interested. Now, I did have a good look around. And luckily, I don't think we've missed too much. I also noticed... Well, it's very hard to miss. I also noticed that Rendog has still not taken the diamonds for the delivery. I really do hope that he does so, because I hope to, in the next episode of Hermitcraft, be building. I, I want to get some, some progress done on the Omega Tree. With that said, though, it's time to get started for today. And I'm not going to lie, I have been... I've been flying around, walking around this plot for, for the better of the past hour now. And I'm just trying... I'm trying to get... A vision of how I want to do this. I definitely, as I said, want to try and 
sort of built on to the slime shop rather than just building a new shop i kind of want to follow this and and extend it somehow the only thing is i I've, I'm, I'm blanking a bit i'm blanking a bit in how in how i'm gonna do that i guess regardless of what i decide i do need the resources to to build this so i guess i should get started with that Sometimes you get to spend some to make some. And when I'm referring to spending, I mean spending. I need a lot of gravel and sand. Back to this old fun grinder once again. I really, really need a concrete blaster at some point. I just broke my pickaxe. Oh no. I can't believe that. I hate this thing. I was just about to go out and get myself some terracotta. And then I remembered that I've already got... Lots and lots of cyan terracotta, which is the color that I'm I'm gonna need because I made a deal with falls I bought these four shulker boxes for 100 diamonds. The only problem is I Forgot about that and I haven't paid her yet. So oh That's another like t t 11 el 12 blocks 11 blocks should be 99 and then I just need one more diamond. I figured it would be very weird to pay her in my base, so I've come over to her shop, which, by the way, I absolutely love this. The little fossil inside the the fakely built the fakely built mesa. This looks 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 really really cool. I guess this is free real estate right in the middle. So let's just let's just put a pile up and a chest for that one diamond. That should be 100. I am wearing my smart outfit, so I should be mathing correctly. Thank you for. Your delivery of cyan terra terracotta. Here is payment. I've done it again, haven't I? I gotta stop writing everything in caps lock. It's not. It's. I'm not shouting. Okay. It's just. It's just old habit. Sorry for the caps lock. Right. Well, that means that I've taken care of my need of cyan terracotta as well as the concrete. And with that, I think I have everything that I need for this build the only problem is and this is quite ridiculous i still don't know what to build i I've, I've been thinking about this for the longest time and i'm not entirely sure but what i do think i want to do is have the entrance sort of in this general area here because if i look at this area there could very well be a road that goes around like this and gets around corrales stuff and then all the way here and that way I can make it look like something that is supposed to be connected together, but is separate buildings. Anyway, I know that I'm going to go with this sort of block palette. And I kind of want to do something weird. Big surprise. I think this is one of those builds where I'm just going to start placing down blocks. And sort of see sort of see where it takes me. A free, a free, a free roam build. Free roam build? I'll be the first to admit, sometimes... <laughs> Sometimes I just say words that comes to mind and they probably don't exist, okay? There's probably nothing called free roam build. But what, what I mean by free roam build is what I'm doing here. So basically, just start building. Just, I, I want a shop or I want a base or whatever it is you're building. I don't know what I'm doing. I know what block palette I want to use and just just go for it. It's, it's actually quite fun. It's a quite fun little challenge to build something completely free roam. So you're not allowed to like, you're not allowed to look at anything. You're not allowed to, to prepare anything. You just, you just go, you just go. And I'll admit as well that many times when I do this, it, it turns out really, really, really bad. But anyway, the way I looked at this was that I needed to, or I wanted to do something using white concrete and cyan terracotta. And I wanted to go a little bit crazy with it. Unfortunately, the, the first hour or so where I built this part here, I mean, the, the long the long time of the hour is just me staring at it. But unfortunately, this turned into a little bit more of a castle than anything else. So I decided to have a little bit of crazy. The slime, the slime shop has that giant slime cube thing dropping down. And I wanted something similar for this. But instead of going with a giant redstone block, I went with a giant redstone sphere. Because that, that makes... That makes a lot of sense. If you have a red, if you have a slime cube, you gotta have a redstone sphere. The only problem was that I used most of my resources that I was gonna sell in the shop, actually making <laughs> making the sphere itself. And then I added on some weird sort of arches. I, no reason really. No reason. I just wanted the building to have a little bit more weird, weird, cra crazy shape to it. 
have to stop the time lapse right there because I have just spotted something. I've just spotted something that needs addressing. But before I show you, I feel like I feel like I need to explain. So I started this video two days ago now, uh, thinking that the the next day, so y yesterday, I would be able to move into my new studio. Unfortunately, though my desk got delayed my new desk material got delayed and so now now i don't i don't i don't know when i will be <laughs> i don't know when i will be moving down it's a little bit sad but it's all good it's just it's just meant that this video which was supposed to be out yesterday has been a little bit delayed but anyway here's what i've spotted in the middle of building this building i just saw this get gorgeous now this is weird because I, Iskal Man, am the campaign manager for the Get Gorgeous campaign, and I, I have no, I've, I've not done this. I did not know about this. This is completely outside my mayor, mayoral, mayoral campaign program and plan, of which there is none, by the way. I, I never, I never seem to have a plan these days. But yeah, this, this is looking really mega, and I. Either either Stress Monster has pranked Rendog, or, or Rendog must be a Get Gorgeous supporter. Even the blimp, even the blimp has turned magenta. This is looking absolutely amazing. And I just realized, I just realized that it seems like Rendog has also accepted the payment. Which means that he may have delivered wood, which means that I could... I could get back to building my, my stop hello stop staring at me like that it's very very <laughs> that's a that's a really creepy face right there that's that's an omega creepy omega creepy thing of doom anyway this is really really cool I love that. Anyway, back to my building. So I, this has taken me, I think I started this about three hours ago and it's not a very complex build at all. I mean, the sphere, the sphere was a little bit tricky to do freehand, but it's not a very tricky build. And the, the most embarrassing part is that it's only, well, there's nothing on the back. It's only a facade so far. It's only a facade so far, but free building or free roaming with builds take a little bit longer, I suppose, because you got to think out the idea on the spot. But I, I'm really liking this. I think that this looks, this looks really, really cool. And it features a fun little Elytra fly through thing. Nice. So I think what I'm going to do, instead of finishing the entire building, of which I still don't know what I'm going to do for the back of this or how I'm going to connect this up together, but instead of worrying on that, I'm just going to take this crazy free roam build style to the next level and I think I'm just going to start with interior. Kind of like building a redstone farm, building the interior before I finish the exterior and then I'll have to make the exterior fit the interior, I suppose. So what I'm thinking is, I think we're going to go with a cyan, cyan floor in this general area here. And then I wonder if I want some kind of walls where these are. Maybe, sort of like an entrance. Ooh, could totally have like a reception area. Yep, I'm liking this idea of having a reception area. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two big windows here. And I've got something planned for both sides, what we can put in here. But then the actual shop itself should start right around this general area. And... I, I'm realizing that I may not have I may not have as much space as I as I thought I did But I suppose we'll just go with it. So for the floor. I think I want to go with This sort of wooden. Oh, I don't have an axe I always carry my axe, but I remember that I put it away for this specific project thinking that I wouldn't need it As I was saying I was thinking of going with this sort of wooden pattern back and forth. I really do like I really do like this style of a floor. I think it looks absolutely awesome. It really does turn into like a real wooden patterned floor that you see in houses and that sort of stuff. Anyway, we do have a little bit of a problem and that is how on earth I'm going to work this out. I'm thinking, is it a possibility to completely just connect these two buildings up together? So that would be where this wall come and then somehow, <laughs> somehow make them work together i suppose the back wall would kind of be in the center of the slime cube shop so that it doesn't look weird afterwards so that would be this whole section would be built in to the redstone shop i mean it could work if we connect these up together in a good way it's gonna look 
really mega, like a really mega store. Everything is going to look like one, basically. Well, moment of truth, I guess. We got to take this away and put the floor in here. And, oh man, I really hope that this will work. <laughs> I really hope that this will work out because it will indeed, if it does, turn into, turn into a mega store. This looks like a samurai, doesn't it? This looks like a samurai hat. Is that, is that not what I've created? So far, so good. It doesn't look terrible. However, this has that kind of green tint to it from the inside the slime shop. I may want to, I may want to open this up, actually. That may be something that I do. But I think in terms of the walls and all of that, this is... Well, I should probably I should probably look at it from the outside. Yeah, I don't think that's too bad. I mean, I can always extend the foundation and that sort of stuff on the outside here, here as well. The real tricky part with this build though is going to be to connect the roof because that is that's mega height right there. And if I do the same height, this entire shop will disappear. So I think maybe if we limit the ceiling or roof to here, and then I'll just drag that over and these can be towers i'm really enjoying this style of building for a change free base free base building it's almost like building an organic building that's not organic just sort of go with them go with the flow right let's see how this turned out okay so that's not that's not bad i quite like that actually that adds on to it i don't like that i don't like that that looks that looks a little bit weird. I think I think what we have to do is take take this wall out. I think that is a lot better. And then I'll have these things running all the way down on the side like that. Oh, oh, hello, hello. <laughs> Whoops. But seeing it from this side over here, it is mega bland. It's literally just one big box from this side. But if you take a close look at the land here. I own all of this from the yellow cross, the fountain, all the way down and all the way to there. So I could definitely add on a third shop and make the Iscalium Emp Imperium sort of come to come to life. However, the focus right now got to be on this shop. And I think we're going to start simple. I think we're going to start simple. And then if we are successful, we can always expand functionality wise. But for now, I'm thinking quite open plan and just having a few like desks you know what i like this less is more a very modern sort of bench and then what i'm gonna do is just put the chests on top of this i need some item frames and i've heard that green is actually starting selling them that was an idea i had i should have i wish i'd done it earlier how much does he charge or do, yeah here we go three diamonds per stack you know what that's actually fair because these are these are pretty, these are annoying to make. Oh no, it turns out I'm out of my investment diamonds for this shop. I have to go back to the Omega tree unless I've made, unless I've made some sales. Ooh, yes, I have made sales. Well, hello. I reckon he could even charge more than three diamonds for a stack because a stack will last quite a while. Unless you're making like a mega infinity room or something like that. Right, so the idea is keep it simple from the beginning. Let, let the hermits know that I am selling redstone in this shop. And then as, as we get more successful, which we totally will because this is a smart investment, as we get more successful, we can up the technicalities of the shop. So I think, I think this is actually a good start. The only question is, do we have, do we have enough chests for the different redstone components I want to sell? Now I've come over to my gold farm quickly because I need levels in order to name, in order to name the different things. The different price tags and I haven't been here in a while so I'm kind of curious to see I'm curious to see if there's any gold here. hello please there we go someone's built an enchanting station here what no this is the this, this I, I shall take these books this is really ugly no enchanting <laughs> no enchanting sta this is my gold farm we have got quite a bit of gold, quite a bit of gold to to collect. Nice. I really do love this farm. It's great. And I'm kind of looking forward to, I know it sounds weird, but I'm kind of looking forward to rebuilding it or building another type of gold farm once Minecraft updates. Anyway, that should be enough levels. So now that I have some levels, a good way to find out what to actually sell in here is probably to have a look in here, in my redstone box. Yes. 
Now, I, I, I don't want to be, I don't want to be the bad guy. I don't want to undercut any other of the shops because we have, we have the, the piston, which I'm assuming sells pistons. It definitely sells hoppers because I bought hoppers there. And then we have the red zone. And then I think Green, Green's Barch is also selling redstone, redstone blocks, I think. I'm not entirely sure. But because I don't want to, I don't want to be the guy who undercuts anyone on purpose. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to price things at where I feel is good. So, uh, this, this is going to be a little bit tricky. 16 pistons for one diamond. I, I think that's a, I think that's a good price. Redstone ore, one diamond per stack. Yeah, that seems reasonable. We also have to organize where everything, where everything is being sold. And for some reason, I just feel like redstone should be right down the middle. So this here, this here could be sticky pistons. One diamond for 12 for sticky pistons. Oh, I definitely need iron income though to be able to sell hoppers. So I may wait with that a little bit. And then droppers and dispensers. I probably need to, probably need to set up some sort of cobblestone farm down the line to be able to sell these at a good price but i'm gonna say 16 one one diamond for 16 dispensers that's a really good price for dispensers considering how tricky they are to craft repeaters one for 16 comparators one for 16 oh observers is a tricky one because they are also they're quite expensive to make i think a really good price is one diamond for 12 I'd buy that I, we're gonna we're gonna be generous we're gonna be generous one for 16 now there are still quite a few more redstone components that we can add here but I only have one more space in this current layout so I think I'm gonna go for a note block or redstone lamp I think redstone lamps will definitely sell more of and seeing how I don't have any glowstone income this this is gonna be the price one for eight now I think as long as I can keep this shop stock, I'm gonna be selling. I'm gonna be selling. Like these these prices are good. I would totally myself and may probably, <laughs> if I if I'm out of stuff someday, may probably come in here and buy from my from my own shop. That would be that'd be kind of weird. Now I got a mega task ahead of me: collecting up and crafting up all of the different things so that I can mega stock this shop. I wanna have I wanna have everything stocked to the brim, and I wanna have backups. And I'm saying this here, I may very well do some live stream sessions in the coming week or so, depending on how my studio goes and if my desk comes, of me collecting and crafting up things. So if you don't want to miss it, make sure you follow me over on my Twitch channel. I also want to do something special with these spaces here, but for now, I want to head back to my mega tree. I oh, oh, oh mega tree. Did I did I say mega tree? I've clearly been off the server for too long. The reason I want to head back to the Omega Tree is to see whether or not Rendog has indeed sold me all of that wood. But before I go there, I just realized I haven't checked the Hermiton Herald this week. And I want to see if my ad has been posted yet. These are just, no, they, these are just the regular things. Oh, it has! It totally has! Look at that! Yes! Oh, that is, okay, that's brilliant. That, that... Yep, get, get gorgeous, Hermitcraft, get... So look at this, all of the earlier things, they're like super... What is this, by the way? They're like super serious. Hills pictured, Joe Hills pictured, here, not dog catching. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's really funny. Every single, every single one of the other ones have had like a lot of text, and then just get gorgeous. We bought, we bought out the entire, we bought out the entire Hermit and Herald. I love that. I definitely want to... I want to pick up, yeah, I want to pick up one of my own, own subscriptions to these. I, I need to, I need to mine another diamond block. Anyway, back to the Omega Tree, and I'm really hoping that Rendog has built another blimp or some sort of other, I, I'm, I'm hoping it's not a pesky bird, though. Please don't be, please don't be a pesky bird. So far, so, uh, so hello? Has he just, has he just taken the diamonds and not delivered anything? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is, this is, wait, hold on. Did I not, did I not clear this out? Thanks for your business. P is those about the mess. Oh, <laughs> I see. Oh, yes. <laughs> Look at this. I have once again got lots of oak. Oh, that is brilliant. And it looks to be, looks to be 10 boxes. That is so good. That means I can build 
another two or one and a half branch. Again, it's quite ridiculous, isn't it? With how much wood I actually need for this. But that is super exciting. He took he took the business. Thank you ever so much, Rendog, for for the delivery and for all of that oak. And like I said, I definitely want to pick up a subscription for the Hermit and Hell. What is this? L Lamb Goodie Box. Excuse me? Dear Hermit, thank you for being a valued customer of Looky Looky at my bookie. I love your face, and to show your appreciation, our appreciation, here is a little goodie box. Token of our gratitude. Thank you. PS want to buy a book. <laughs> What is this? This is not appreciate. I, I mean, I appreciate the oak leaves. What is this? Keep calm and buy books at lamb. Oh, a t-shirt. Looking very, very fancy. Why is there dye right in here, though? I'm I'm sorry, Kiralis, but what? who told you? So, who t <sighs> Maybe this is a 200 IQ play from Kiralis, actually. Maybe he knows about my little toy, and maybe that's why he's giving me this dye right, so that I can enjoy seeing this getting blown up again thank you boomers for this machine i love it i think i'm going to completely assume that that was a 200 iq play from corrales giving me the appreciation of blowing up diorite anyway i am totally after all this time i'm totally subscribing to the hermiton hell so i guess do i just take this hell oh my goodness that is that is such a good ad. But unfortunately, that is all that we have time for today. This video has been recorded over several different days in two different locations even. I've had to move my setup around just a little bit. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping to be back on normal sort of speed as soon as possible. I hope that my desk comes. I'm really, really eager to get into my to get into my studio. But anyway, I really do hope that you enjoyed the video. We have got a mega store of doom. I mean, take a look at the size of this thing. Anyway, I really do hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, do it like button down below. And if you're brand new, it's it's considered smart these days to, to subscribe if, if you want to. And I will see you dudes in the next episode.